when your kitty cat, ow, your witch's cat, who's acting like a real witch's cat. Hey, darling. Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, look at him. He's my baby. He's my baby. But I am jumping on to you quickly, very quickly, um, while the kids are being picked up from school run. Um, I've actually hit my three o'clock slump. But um, I wanted to share with you my beautiful weekend and how how amazing it was. Um, and I connected with some really other beautiful women. Um, and we're starting our little journeys together and and I'm just feeling really blessed. So um, our weekend went over two days and it was, um, it was really nice because we got to share our journeys and where we are in our spirituality and where, we're, where I guess we're kind of hoping to get to. And um, most of us feel like we've been pushed by the universe, <laughs> not like it was a chosen thing. <laughs> um, but, oh, and if you're watching now, make sure you put a one if you're watching the replay put it to. Um, but I really wanted to share with you, um, you know, some of the things that we learned and if you wanted to get yourself involved in our next one. Um, so I actually, um, really enjoyed myself. I did know a lot of it because it's not, I have been trying to learn as much as I can in the last, um, few months so that I can sort of educate myself and, um, well, it's been more than the last few months. It's been over several years, but very on and off. So with life, we get pushed down. And if if you have a spiritual journey and, and that's sort of a part of your life's purpose, then you'll find that every time you commit to something and learning something, something um, really negative <laughs> um, or some sort of like chaotic drama will just jump up and it will cut you off from um, spending time on yourself, really, because it's all about self love personal development and your journey forward um so we um got to connect and and sort of share a bit of our stories and we also got to learn um what different abilities you can have we talked about chakras and why certain chakras might be blocked um and what can happen sort of if they are blocked and how to unblock them we did some balancing and some and ow <laughs> that really hurt um, we did some energy work, um, and yeah, it was pretty awesome, um, and I really enjoyed myself, but I thought I would just jump on quickly, um, what else did we do? Tarot, which I've been doing for a while, so that's how we sort of finished the weekend, um, I've sort of tried to commit myself to that part because I feel like I'm uh, very in tune, I get a lot of messages, which I'm still, I didn't, well, I actually didn't realise they were psychic messages. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> um, so I didn't realise they were psychic messages until the weekend because I had always assumed that when spirit or your, your guides or whatever talks to you, they talk to you in, I guess, a clear different voice the same as when you see things I didn't realize that you can see things but they can be more just like a shadow and kind of a bit of your imagination if that makes sense so not your imagination but um you know you you your um visualization so um I guess I was expecting it to be like if you saw a spirit you saw like even not a solid spirit like a person but kind of like a person but see-through-ish or I don't know I just didn't realize how much of it was um more like sensing and 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 feeling and stuff but in the beginning stages it's not as strong so I guess it's harder to indicate what it is so I have actually been talking to my guide spirit and source um for quite some time now <laughs> um but I wanted to share how I do my readings and what what to expect when you do a 15 minute reading with me so I do readings with anyone all over the place um because I do my readings online um main reason for that is I have five kids and I have to fit it into random times of the day because it's not my it's not my job, it's um, a passion so far and, and hopefully one day it will be some sort of my passion and career and, and all of that together, my purpose. <laughs> um, and I would much rather um, 
give myself to that than doing eyelashes. <laughs> but um, I, so when you do a 15 minute re- reading with me, you basically um, confirm your spot. And that's simply by just paying $15, which is all I charge because I'm new and, um, you know, I am not a master and I'm only learning and it, it's um, a part of development. Um, and after that, I will basically pull between six and ten cards for you. Um, so what I do is I actually sit down with my tarot deck who are nicely wrapped up in my sarong a nice beautiful colorful sarong i actually set um set it up light a candle i have my um crystal with me to help me um channel in and and feel any energies from angels and gods and anything that's gonna give me um information for the highest good and then I shuffle the cards and I really, really think about the person and I think about um, what is the best messages that they need to hear and I want those messages to come out into the cards um, and I want those to be strongly in the cards so that I guess I can interpret it properly for the person um, and that I'm only doing it with love and I have no personal attachment to the reading um, and that I'm protected, of course, and that I'm very thankful um, for the gifts and the messages that I receive. So I then, um, after I've done that and I've like thought about it, I've put all this energy into the cards, I shuffle them up and, um, some people do it differently. I actually just run my fingers across the deck and see where I need to split it and pull the card. Um, that's just the way I've always pulled cards. I've been pulling one card and reading the book since I was like mm, 10 or something. Um, not that I've been intuitively doing it. My mum actually tried to get me to do intuitive card readings and I freaked out and I would never do it, um, because I didn't trust myself. So, um, yeah, that's how I pull the cards. So I'll pull, um, between six and eight, whatever feels right. I turn them all over and then I go one by one into the card and I look at the picture and I sense and I feel and any... Um, any messages that I get through all of those different things, I'll, um, I guess share and I share what I get through all of the cards and then I ask for feedback. Um, the main reason for that is because I would prefer to not, um, know any history while I'm still learning. Um, so I don't want to do back and forward stuff and I think that I'm putting myself more in the deep end to learn quicker and faster so that I can um, be really, really developed in that area. Um, So I will do all of the information that I have and that I can give and then I get some feedback and then sometimes some extra messages come through or it just makes that um, message that wasn't quite clear become through really clear so I can share it. Um, So the support is ongoing um, after that so if like you know you leave it a couple of days and you're like oh you know I really wasn't thinking at the time because I was so overwhelmed it was wow amazing whatever um and you go oh but I really wanted some more info on that you can just send me a message and I can pull another card for you and tune back into your energy and see what messages come up for that same thing um so that is what I do. I'm actually going to do one of those now for one of my soul sisters. And I'm so excited um, because I like hearing the feedback and I like learning to actually trust myself and not hold back anymore. So that's really hard to do. (laughs) Um, But the more that I do it, the more amazed I get. So I hope you all have a beautiful Monday um, and I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Bye.